Yeah, man, it's one and only DJ Chase, man, the pregame party mix podcast on 17 podcast networks, man. Dynasty Radio, Monday nights, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. We got the one, the only Mr. I, I call him Brooklyn. All right, yeah, his, here's his intro. Mr. 500,000 streams on Spotify, over 100,000 <laughs> 100, mixtapes in the streets. Uh, Brooklyn's <laughs> own, uh, you know what I'm saying, Mr. RNT, the fly hats, the fly merch, Banco. What's shaking, brother? Film. Real yeah. nigga time, yo. It's an honor. I appreciate you, DJ Chase. You know the vibes, man. Real nah. nigga time. Let's do it. Nah, I appreciate it, man. You definitely be on it. Like, you be on my page. You be like, you. The one of the reasons why you're on my podcast is because you show me love, dog. You you show, you respect the grind, so. Most definitely, man. Respect the hustle. You got you, man. Of course, of course, uh. of course, man. Um, First and foremost, man, I like to act is how are you feeling, Black, man? How are you feeling today? Be honest, I'm feeling good today. It's a great yeah. day, man. Word, yeah. day going real good. Copy, copy, man. And you know, the, the rainy weather ain't get you down, right? It's been raining like every single day so, yeah, so far. Yeah, I know, right? This shit feel like Colorado or some shit. Like, it's raining <laughs> every day, bro. I'm like, yo. Or, like, or. It was good. It ain't getting me down. To be honest, I feel more motivated in the rain sometimes. Copy, you know copy, saying? copy. I feel you. I feel you, man. So for those who don't know you, uh, RNT Benko, we're going to get into a little bit about your background. So first and foremost, you are from Brooklyn, BK. What part of Brooklyn are you from? From Brownsville, Ocean Hill, Brownsville, up the hill. I used to live down the hill on Grafton, but I'm from originally Ocean Hill, Brownsville, Brooklyn. Brownsville, 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 Brooklyn. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, is that MOP, MOP from Brownsville, right? Yes, sir. Okay, did, did MOP influence you? Of course. Hell yeah, yeah man. Eddie up. What? Yeah. Shit, that was like the lavish shit going, even on late night video hosts. Like, that shit was everything. I used to stay up to three in the morning, sneaking from my mom to watch that video. <laughs> yeah man and who else who else is from brownsville who are the rappers that i know from brownsville who else is from, from brownsville brownsville lit right now it's a few other rappers from brownsville you know what i mean you got troy yeah you got yeah. a few dudes you got rowdy and them from the nine but it's still like brownsville goes like block two away you know what i'm saying you got mad things happen you got um bleezy shout out to bleezy dod he from brownsville you know what i'm saying you got so you got a few dudes doing their thing from brownsville word copy that's, that's dope that. That's dope, man. And how, you know, I know everybody, I always try to ask people their spirits, you know what I'm saying? Because there's been a lot of stuff going on, a lot of shootings, especially, a, lot of, a lot of shootings, especially in Brooklyn. Um, It's been like a war zone out there, yeah, from, you know. um, How has COVID affected you, brother? Like, how has it affected, like, your, your music game? Because uh, you've been at this for a minute, because I, I, I didn't even know that was you, the hats. Cause I gotta get, I gotta give me an RNT hat, but I didn't oh, even know. I, I didn't even know that was you. I didn't even know oh, that was yeah. you. <laughs> Definitely gotta get you one at the show on the 14th. Or, Cause I always wear a hat. So I'm a, I'm a hat guy. So one thing you gonna give me with is a hat. So I'm always a hat. I need to truck a hat. So I got you, bro, bro. That's a big fact. Yeah. Like, how's COVID? Yeah. How's COVID? How's COVID affected you? Like to be honest, I ain't gonna lie. That shit did affect me a little way, man. I mean, it gave me more to be in tune with myself because I feel like. Yeah. As a world, we be moving too fast anyway. We let a lot of shit fly past us. We don't really get time to sit down and really appreciate certain shit. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I felt like that was a blessing in disguise to sit down and really appreciate certain shit. You know what I'm saying? When the world just stopped and you realize how much you need certain shit or how much shit was a privilege. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But it affected me because my show slowed up. I wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how that shit go for us artists, man. Like, that's how we eat. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of shit was slowing up and it affected me bad, but it didn't affect my videos and my song because I still was shooting videos. I still was doing songs, but I'm kicking more money out than I'm receiving. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not getting yeah. booked no more the way I used to. I'm not doing certain things the way I used to because of the Corona shit, but I just kept my head down, kept going, bro. And I just started doing other hustles that I already had besides the clothes and all that. Like I started just thinking outside the box about more shit I could do besides crypto, big Bitcoin, all that, like just to bring income in, bro. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So like, I ain't gonna lie, it affected me that in that, in that aspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, how's your mental health going? Like, I know, like I said, I, I try to, I think us brothers, I'm I, like, we don't get a lot of like, like how I say we don't talk to each other. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we always like, like preaching at each other. But last time a nigga just been like, yo, how are you feeling, bro? Like even mentally, how have you been like during COVID? I appreciate that, bro. Mentally, I ain't going to lie, bro. You know how like people say they claustrophobic in small places, like mentally, bro, I be feeling the opposite of that when I'm outside. 
You know what mm. I'm saying? Because there's so much shit going on out here. I don't know if I'm going to make it home. But I still keep the faith. You know what I'm saying? I still try to keep busy so I won't be in certain situations. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's real out here right now. My mental capacity, I'm trying to balance it all out. Mm. You know what I mean? And music is basically my therapy, bro. Like, because... I feel mm-hmm. like we all suffer from the certain kind of depression, bro. You know what I'm Word saying? Up. Certain shit ain't normal. What we went through, what we seen. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't Word. normal, bro. And yeah. I just feel like, you know, with my mental capacity, I'm just trying to balance it all out. I'm trying to stay sane. I pray every night. I just grind and pray, bro. That's all Real I can say. Real talk, my brother. And, and from one, I want to give you your flowers. Like I said, I didn't even know that RT closed because I was looking at your Instagram page and I'm like trying to get some questions together. I'm like, wait a minute, I see that hat all the time. And I'm like, oh shit, I didn't even know that's the same person. Real <laughs> time. Appreciate word, 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 word. Yeah, I'm a definitely a fan of hats. Now, your track, let's get into some music now. You got the track Pat Mahomes uh, for my guy Patrick, the Kansas City Chief, Patrick Mahomes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, all right, I have to ask this how did you feel when they lost, bro? How did you feel when he lost? Yo, it was crazy. <laughs> you know, it was crazy. Like, I was a feature on that song, bro. But yeah. It, but it got, like, it got mad, like, like mad publicity for some reason. Like, people really was rocking with that shit. Yeah. And I had wore the Brady jersey in the video. You know what I'm saying? My man wore the Pat. Oh. But when he <laughs> lost, I was like, shit. Our yeah. views might not hit the way we think it's going to hit. Like, they going to rock with us. But it started hitting. I was like, oh, shit, right, maybe they rocking with us. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? That's, know, a, that's a that's that's a a good niche record, though. That's, like, a good, a really good, um, like... Appreciate that. Yeah, good, like, you know, a sub- suburban, like, bar record. Like, because I'm listening to your music. Like, I, at first, I'm like, I right, I was getting into it. I'm listening to it. Like, all right, he got different stuff. But you got you can make real, like, fun music. A lot of artists don't make fun music. You could tell, like, you haven't, like, you generally... Because you don't have no big, like, mixtapes or nothing out. You don't have right. full, I mean a full mixtape out on a, on the streaming platforms, right. but right. you like you still make those fun singles like that's something that I enjoy because even me as a as a DJ, we come from that fun music, not this depressing like drill kill them smoke shit, get, get, shit. yeah that drill Always pack smoking a pack music we don't do that stuff we don't come from that so right. you know what I'm saying fact. That's a fact. yeah and that's um I don't know if you've seen some of my performances though I like I tell niggas we we dance on this side like yeah. we go crazy like we like to have fun bro you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Shit, it's only one life to live, and look how this shit. I, like, look, look how it's treating us right now. Niggas gotta wear masks everywhere we go. Tell me wow. about it. Yeah, man, not a big one, Mister Five Hundred Thousand Streams. I need to, I need to, I need to talk to you about that. Uh, the bro, big friends. record, either you real or you not with Uncle Murder. How did that come about, bro? Yo, it's crazy how that shit came about. To be honest, like I, you know, I do clothes and shit. You feel yeah. me? And I was doing my music. I had made, the, I had put a song out called Underdog. But I was getting a lot of recognition from the freestyle I had put out called Why. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when I had put out Underdog, I had mad different kind of clothes. I was out there grinding every day in the streets, just like hitting everything. You know what I mean? Everybody supporting. It was going crazy. And so Murder kept seeing like certain shit with my clothes. And we knew certain, some of the same people. Mm-hmm. So like, they'd be like, yo, real nigga time, my nigga Banco. And he'd be like, yo, like, I guess he basically like, like, fuck. Fuck is this bank banko like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But so I reached out to him. I reached out to him personally. Mm. You feel me? And I was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. And he was like, Yeah, I see you working. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I've been seeing, I've been hearing shit. You feel me? Like, yo, matter of fact, and then I'm I mean nigga hit me out of nowhere, bro. Like, yo, meet me at the studio. I'm landing at this such time. I'm yeah. like, word, like this was days later. And I'm like, word, I'm like, yeah. bet pulled up and shit. How he had the beat ready for him. He like, yo, he thinking like he just got an open verse and shit. I'm like, yo, I like to feel shit. I don't want to do shit and bring it to you. Then you jump on it. Like, this is big for me. So I want to feel it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah. we're sitting here together. I'm going to bump this for you. And we're going we gonna, we gonna, we gonna to do some shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And my man, my man came up with the hook. And I I don't write. You feel me? So I'm in the mm. corner. I'm smoking. I'm doing what I'm doing. And murder don't do the same either. That shit fucked me up. He was in the corner doing what he's doing. He ain't pull out no pen, no pad. And we went up in there and we did that shit. We knocked that shit out. No funny shit. We probably knocked that shit out in like 40 minutes, 45 minutes. That's between crazy. all three of us. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's knocked crazy. That Five, and look at you now. 500,000 streams. Like, you know you got to get some plaques, right? You're going to get some plaques for that. They, 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 that's... Yeah, you get the you get the big the, you get you get some plaques. I, I'm gonna put you Definitely. on. You gotta get you, you, you gotta get a plaque for that. You gotta get a plaque for that. Yeah, you gotta get a plaque for that. Yeah, and that's a dope record. And that's a, that's a, and it's funny because 
I met as far, I met Uncle Murder a few times actually, and he's always been like a real like he's. I met a lot of industry cats get, doing DJing and music, and he's like one of the most like you can walk up to him and he just like fuck with him like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so Uncle Murder is real. Yeah, he's a yeah, real, real dude. Cool. And I gotta ask, uh huh. And I gotta ask this for my producers as well. Um, like who produced that record? Um, CG Beats. CG Shout Beats. out to CG Beats. You know what I'm saying he living in Miami right now. My son blowing up on me. You know, yeah. he got the blue check and all that. Oh, About okay. Two hundred thousand followers. Shout out to CG Beats. <laughs> but the thing is, like yeah. I always, I, like I want, I want, I just want to touch on this a little bit about yeah. CG. I already knew he was gonna be the goat. I already yeah. knew it. Like. When I used to hear the nigga beats, I'd be like, yo, bro, you're gonna be the fucking goat. Like, you're gonna be the new star storage. He'd be like, yo, I appreciate it. And he and this was his first track with a celebrity major artist, anything. Mm, you feel dope, me? Dope. And at that time, CG probably had like 2,000 followers. You know what I'm saying? And wow. now he got 200 k And he always thank you. Know what I mean, he always give me my flowers. I appreciate him for that. He'd be like, yo, Banco, if it wasn't for you, I would have never had all these eyes on me. Like, since we put out this song with murder, I've been getting mad work you know what i'm saying i'm like yo i pre like i'm like no doubt bro that's what it's about we got to do that shit with each other you know what i'm saying and yeah. i and i love to see that shit how far he going like he's doing mad different things he's making mad beats for mad industry niggas now like now he's he's there you know what i'm saying that's what's uh, up man that's that's real I, and eventually i gotta send you some beats too i'm, I'm just gonna i'm gonna send you a pack soon because i gotta get i gotta get get some get uh some verses from do, you too bro. No i got some beats for you yeah yeah, I'm I just a, a, I, yo, I just be putting out beat tapes because nobody like yo, they take forever to get back to me on a song. I'm like, yo, these beats is yeah. knocking, bro. Like, and my yeah. beats because I'm an engineer too, so I mix my beats like to the oh, point what? you don't have to mix them. Yeah, that's what I do. So, like, I'm like, bro, like, I, and the reason I have the podcast is because it's good promo for the for my labels. So I'm like, all right, right, I already do the radio and that, so it's like I could just podcast and you know what I'm saying. So I gotta bring bring it home. Hold on one second, I gotta do it right. Bring it home for the family. So, you right. know, I just got this joint for my production. So, you know what I'm saying? So let's go. Let's go. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So I'll be, yeah, of course, of course. Salute, bro. Yeah, man. So I'll be, I'll be killing the boy. So I definitely got to get you some beats. And I noticed another thing that I noticed about you too, bro. You an actor, dog. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. And if you watch my videos, you see, I put all that acting shit in there. Like, I always try to do that shit, too, bro. Hell, yeah. I've been doing that for a while. I even went to Martin Luther King for arts and design and, you know, <laughs> acting in there and shit like that. Word. How did, like, how, did, how did you get... So you so you started in, what, high school, right? You just thought... You just, like, that was something you always honest, wanted to I do? I started before high school. I was a natural. Like, I remember DJ Art Reckon them used to come through making DVDs and little short films, and they yeah. used to throw me in that shit. Like, yo, jump up in this shit. You feel me? And then yeah. I just wound up going to Martin Luther King for arts and design. And yeah. every time I, we had like the acting shit, you know what I'm saying? I just throw that, I knock that shit out the park because I used to feel like acting is real life anyway. I just got to play the part. You know what I'm saying? So that's I crazy. Put myself in that position, world, bro. That's crazy. Bro. What and what um what projects like like you do like um just more like small like indie films and stuff like that? Like I didn't even like to be honest, I didn't do like no indie film yet. I wasn't like featuring like no certain thing, but mm. I definitely was like 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 the, like you know like the um. The background cast for um like she's gotta have it. Um, I was like, um, what else I did? What else I did? I did um I told you like DJ R record back in the day, mm-hmm. he put me like in short films, but it was never like you no know, in major and okay. but that but the most major ones I did, it basically was like the background of the cast and from like she's gotta have it and other situations on Netflix. Listen, but that's it was only like two of those, you know what I'm saying? But that's yeah. a start for me. But that's a start, in my yeah. Background, I was always like in short films and shit like that from niggas mm-hmm. up and coming independent and shit like that. So mm-hmm. if you go on YouTube, you probably find it. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta type it in and shit like that. That's right. dope, man. And now um as far as you just put out like do you have any like full projects coming out? Because I, I noticed that you put like I said on, on the streaming platforms alone. Like you just have the mostly the singles is that because that's what I do. My that's what my business model is for my label. The singles is much easier to work, much easier, less work, less stress with the singles. I love singles to death. Um, are you, you are you gonna work out on a on, on a full uh, EP or project? Yeah, the thing is, um, you can hear me good, right? Cause I'm, yeah, I'm you got. Yeah, the thing is, like, I'm working on the EP right now. That's the thing. I'm working on the EP, but I, lately I've been throwing out singles mm. because I felt like. I remember, I remember I heard Nelly say some shit like, yo, I would have killed to be in, independent, right? Like at that time, he said, because I would have just been throwing out singles, fuck an album, like, oh, oh, singles, and let y'all niggas dwell on that and let that shit go platinum. So it, it made me think a little bit like, you know what? 
right now. And at that time, I didn't really have a certain amount of fan base. So I'm like, yo, people not really even paying attention to what I want them to pay attention to me. So I was like, yo, let me just let me just make certain shit right now. So that way they could pay attention. You feel me? And then after like the first two singles I threw out, they started paying attention. You know what I mean? Because one of them, like, like some fan from um, like one matter of fact, when I was in Miami, dude was like, yo. Yo, RT Bank. I'm like, yeah. He was like, yo, that's crazy. Like, I watched Underdog, and six months later, you had a song with Murder. He said, yo, shout out to you, bro. You feel me? So now I know they paying attention. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right. Now, now as I built that kind of fan base, I feel like it's the best time for me to throw out the EP right now. And I'm working on it too. Like, and th- it's going to be so crazy and different with this shit. Like, I think a lot of people going to realize, like, yo, shit. Like, I didn't even know he could, like, you know, I'm trying to go overseas, bro. Like, I'm trying to touch every different kind of, kind of, kind of soul right now. You feel me? So, like, this EP going to be a little different. This is, like, my experiment, like, my experiment, really, because I'm going to see how they react to this one. It's going to be way different from, and I'm versatile because all my songs, all my singles sound different. I, from Think She Like Me to Either You Really or Not to Get To A Bag to Fully Equip. You got the, I, Fully Equip sound more drill. But it's more, you know what I'm saying? Then I got yeah. Evie really not, you know what I'm saying? Think she like every song is different, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So this EP is gonna like, I think his mom is gonna let us run, you know what I'm trying nah, to say? Respect, like respect, respect, man. And I can't, I can't wait to hear it. I got some of the exclusive singles on my 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 uh my inbox for the show, so I'm definitely, I'll definitely be listening to the music. Like even to every artist that sends me music, like when I when I finish after but, when I after when I finish the showcase, I always like listen to it. Like you know what I'm saying? Um, now we got the, the big clothing line, RNT, real nigga Tom clothing. There you go. You see the sweatband right there, the headband, the hoodies. What's yes, up, sir. man? How, tuned, how, tuned. All right, all right. how did how did that first of all? How, well, of course, merch is definitely the money make out here. The merch and that's that's the big big money make out here. How did you come up with the name Real Nigga Tom? Oh, real nigga Tom, yo, it's crazy because I always screamed that shit since I was young. Since I was oh, probably okay. like him. Oh, like since I was probably like in fourth, fifth grade, I've been screaming that shit like real nigga time. And like everybody used to know me for that shit. Like when I was coming through my world, they'd be like, yo, real nigga time, like shit like that. You feel me? Yeah. So I always had the name, but I never knew I was going through clothes. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like that shit just fell in my lap because I went to my man video shoot and you know, I'm always screaming real nigga time. And this was like supposed to be like a big thing at the time because you know, Aisha Hall just came home. Mm. The one that's on the BET thing, you know, the, the lady that did the time in the feds and all that, you know, that she's doing a music thing. Mm. She check out, follow her, you know, she's definitely doing a thing. And I went down that video shoot. So I had a hat and a shirt on. And it was probably like a hundred and some people out there that day. And people was like, yo, I want a shirt. Like, you got, you got, you got shirts? And I'm saying, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I got shirts. I ain't got no shirts for sale, but they putting in orders. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm writing it down. Like, I right, take your order. Boom, boom. Next day, I went straight to the printer. They got like, yo, print me out this. Yo, I need this. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I started just dropping off deliveries and shit. And that's how I started doing clothes. It's like, it just came to me, bro. Like, I didn't even know I was going to do clothes. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. I've been learning, like, from there, the clothes game been real good to me. You know what I'm saying? So, get that bread, bro. Like I said, I'm <laughs> definitely a fan. And send me, you know, send me the logo. I could put you on the email blast as a, as a sponsor. I could put some, you know, do some sponsor work for you. Cause I always got oh, stuff going on, so I always do that. And um, you know, what I was gonna say now, what's your favorite thing to do? You have um, a film, you have clothes, and you have um, merch. I mean, merch and fa- uh, merch, music and fashion, right? And film. What is your favorite thing to do? My favorite thing to do, to be honest, I love R and B, man. A lot of people don't know that shit about me. You yeah, know what I'm saying like, I got a few R and B tracks. I ain't even throw out yet. You know what so I mean? what you what I, you I'm waiting on? What you waiting on, Tupac? What you waiting on? Like I'm throwing it out. As I'm saying, the EP gonna fuck them up because I know people gonna hear my story now. They paying attention. You know what I'm saying? So when yeah. I throw out that EP, it's gonna fuck them up. They gonna be like, "Yo, shit." You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I fell in love with R&B before hip hop. To be honest, like when I was little, my mom was a singer. Like my grandfather was an entertainer. He wrote "When the Man Loves a Woman." Mm. Um. That's what's up. He um, was one of the first black dudes to act on Broadway. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. he wrote for Donamite, like seven Donamite movies. He wrote for Superfly. So I always around this shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like he played the instruments. He's always telling me your first instrument is your vocals. You know what I'm saying? So like that always ran with me. Plus I always like singing. Then I, I knew I could rap because I've always put my words together well. You feel me? So I used mm. to battle niggas in school coming up. 
shit like that. And as time went, like a lot of people didn't really know I had a voice either. So I used to sing a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So really what I love to do on my spare time or even when I'm working is really the R&B. When I know I'm about to go to the studio, do some R&B shit, I get real more excited. Than yeah. I do when I'm rapping or shooting a video, like you know what I'm saying. I get excited. I'm like, yo, I wanna, I know this is gonna come out dope. Like the females gonna be on this one. Like you feel me? That shit gonna yeah. be hype. Bro. For sure, bro. And the last question I got of the night, right? I always ask all my artists. This. Now you got a lot going on for yourself. You got big records. You got big singles. Uh, are you trying to stay independent or are you trying to get signed? What's up? To be honest, I'm trying to stay independent right now. Mm. But you know. Mm. I always got an open ear to shit and I always try to keep an open mind. Mm. And I've been doing my homework lately on certain things, you know what I'm saying, with the industry and shit like that. And I really don't want to owe $3 on a dollar. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, me personally, yes, like, if I, could, if I could get some kind of leverage with it, you know what I'm saying, where I could say certain things to put me in better position with them niggas, then I would. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. I know it benefits me. Yeah, but yeah. if that's not the case, I'm not the nigga they want in that room because they can't just tell me anything. So I'm cool with just doing what I'm doing right now. Cause if I build it a certain way, then I know I could get leverage when they start coming to me. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, sure. so I'm just being patient. I ain't really I mean it ain't it ain't like it's a bad thing, but you know, it could be a gift or a curse. It's how you go about the shit. Of course, man. RNT Banco, real nigga Tom Banco. I want to say thank you, brother. Thank you for coming on my podcast. I want to give you your flowers because, like I said, I'm a fan of the merch. I'm waiting for. I'll be waiting for my truck ahead on Friday. Um, you know, what I'm real saying? nigga Tom. Brother, real nigga Tom. Um, yo, how can anybody get in contact with you for a feature? Um, I know right now you. I think prices is up. What's up? Or how can it, how yeah. can anybody reach you? Or features send you beats. What's up? It definitely went up. It did Corona hit, but it still was the same price. But you know, anybody get hit me for the feature, you know what I'm saying? You can either check out my email on my page. My page is RT Banco, or you can get in tune with my manager, I am Keeks. You know what I'm saying? You could definitely link cuz you'll definitely get in tune with me. And I'm the type of dude, if you send me a song and you want me on it, I'm not gonna wait a week, bro. Like I'll make it my business to get up in that studio ASAP. And send that shit right back. All right, because you know I got saying? some, I got I some, I got some hot beat. Matter of fact, right now after I, after I sign off, I'm gonna definitely like send you send you a pack. We are gonna talk because I'm gonna send Hell you some. Hell yeah, I'm a beef fiend, bro. You don't yeah. even know. Hell I got yeah. man, I, yo, because I'm cleaning out my hard. Like, look, hold on, let me show you right now. This is hard drive one. These are all my hard drives, of beats and production and masters and like that's all I do. So I've been like cleaning everything out. So I'm just sitting working, here like working. working. Yeah. So I mean, RIT Banco, man, thank you so much. Plug whatever you got, man. Plug everything. Yo, I appreciate you, big dog. For real, for real, man. No problem. Shout out to DJ Chase. You know what I'm saying? I heard good things about the homie and shit. We're going to turn thank up May 14th. If y'all ain't got y'all ticket, y'all better fuck around, find a way to get one because capacity is full. I heard they sold up. I heard they sold can't out. Come in if you ain't got a ticket. Real nigga time. DJ Chase in the building. Yo, I appreciate you. RT be the movement, man. Word up. Real nigga Tom Banco, man, is DJ Chase, the pregame party miss podcast on 17 Podcast Networks, YouTube, DJ Chase TV, and that Dynasty Radio. Oh, also on Coffee Goat Radio as well. We're going to get some RT Banco music in rotation. We got it right down. We got it covered. So it's locked. DJ Chase G. Yeah. Let's go. Bow. DJ Chase TV. It's official. Official. Come on. With DJ Chase on the pregame party mix podcast.